Good afternoon, spirited friends here, both on Facebook and Instagram. It is Tuesday, not Wednesday, which is when I usually do my goddess team uh, videos. And that is because I will be with my little baby goddesses <laughs> tomorrow because of the snow. I would normally be taking care of my granddaughters um, today. And it's quite fortuitous because today, as you've probably seen all over the internet, is Groundhog's Day, which is really just the modern iteration of one of the most holy days uh, all over the world um, since ancient times. Um, the Groundhog's Day, uh, we, and, and if you haven't heard, I don't know why, why the groundhog is always referred to in modern times as a he, but I'm, I'm dubbing her a she. Um, she did see her shadow, which means we have six more weeks of winter. Big surprise for those of us in the Northeast that had, <laughs> in New York, we had almost 18 inches of snow. Um, but, but the origins are quite amazing. In the Celtic lands, um, this day was known as Imolc, um, I-M-B-O-L-C, which, which is translated as use milk. It's when, and it really kind of... Um, captures the the energy of of what this holiday that fall holy day that falls halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox is this time of quickening of just the seeds vibrating under the earth not anywhere near sprouting but the potential the, the possibility of spring that's still you know officially another six weeks out and and the the ewes milk um uh, ewes, uh, uh, mother sheep, um, and other th lactating beings would begin to lactate, lactate now in order to, um, you know, for those that live so close to the land and, and had their, uh, their animals and their, their herds um, living basically with them. Um, so Imok was this time of purification. Um, and it is also, and this uh, continues really today, it was also the Feast of Bridget, which was the Celtic goddess, Celtic goddess, triple goddess Bridget, a fire goddess. She um, is the goddess of smithcraft, um, you know, making things um, over a forge, which we don't do much of now, nowadays. Um, healing, divination, um, all kinds of, of uh, uh, inspiration and creativity. I mean, that's part of the crafts part. Of, of what we come, what we, what we get out of the Smithcraft part of her, her, her meaning. And it is traditionally, when I had my year-long women's spirituality program, um, boy, 10, 12 years ago that I did for 10 years, this was an initiation time. It is an initiation, a time, hi Mare, a time for letting go uh, of the gunk, very spiritual word, from the winter and just preparing, preparing even though the ground is frozen, preparing our minds, our bodies, um, the earth as much as we can for the growth to come. And Bridget is actually, the goddess Bridget, the Celtic goddess, goddess Bridget, is actually one of the few who was totally embraced by, by the Christian church and was made into a saint, into a saint. So she was Saint Bridget, and apparently in real life, she was the daughter of Druids and herself was a, a smith, um, a goldsmith, and a healer. So she's got lots of wonderful, I mean, she's, she's continued, she has these pagan, you know, um, of the earth um, uh, origins, but she was embraced in Christianity as well. And in fact, she and Saint Bridget and her, um, her nuns, so the story goes, built a monastery on the same site that Goddess Bridget was revered and where Goddess's 19 priestesses kept a fire going, kept a sacred fire going in Kildare, Ireland. And, and it was going from pre-Christian times until, um, and I've heard different things, until sometime in the 1500s. Um, and then at that point, apparently, the church was wiping out monasteries and things, unless you agreed with what they believed in. Um, and it, so her fire was out, um, Bridget, St. Bridget's fire was out until 1993 when the, the Brigidine sisters, the, the um, leader of that, of that uh, order that has, had sustained through the centuries, 
lit it again. And then I think it was 2005, um, they created this, this simple little temple to, to keep the fire going. And, and it is now, it is now since 1993, um, been kept burning by these 19 priestesses. And then, and then the, the wonderful story goes that Bridget in, in all of her wisdom and her magic and her healing and her power um, lights it on, that keeps it lighting, tends the flame on the 20th day. So lots of really rich, wonderful, and in, in several different traditions um, for this day that we <laughs> that we mostly know nowadays as as Groundhog's Day. So I invite you to kind of take that in and think about where where it is that you need to do some purifying. Where do you need to to release some of the gunk that uh, has accumulated over the winter? And boy, has there and we're not we're not even halfway through. Well, we're officially halfway through um, with COVID and, and everything else that we're dealing with. Um, tonight uh, at seven, another fun reason why I'm ending up doing this, this um, video today, I will be facilitating a candle moss ritual. Candle moss, forgot to mention that one. Candle moss was kind of how the Christian church um, absconded with, with February 2nd with Imolk because they dubbed it, the, and it, it actually still retains um, some of that powerful purification energy from Imok, from the Feast of Bridget. Um, they dubbed February 2nd as Candlemas, and it was a festival that celebrated, uh, it was 40 days after the birth of Jesus, and that was the point when, when a woman was considered to be pure, <laughs> as if childbirth was some dirty thing. Uh, but that's when she was purified enough to go out into the world. So Candlemas um, in the in the Catholic Church has um, has some beautiful celebrations around it as well. So we are doing a Candlemas Candlemas slash Imolk slash Feast of Bridget celebration tonight. My dear friend uh, Barbara Bijou, um, her website, if you want to register and find out more about it, is uh, barbarabijou.com backslash events if you want to get the Zoom information. And we'll be doing um, some of this, the purifying, um, powerful purifying ceremony in that and, and making wishes. That's another, another um, piece of Bridget. There are apparently some, I, I guess I went to Ireland. Did I go to Ireland? No, Scotland. <laughs> Not been to Ireland, it's, it's a dream. Um, there are sacred wells all over Ireland and and Bridget is also felt is, is has also been honored in sacred wells. You can throw um, coins and and make wishes and um, beseech Bridget to heal you to help you through you know whatever life events you're dealing with. So um, so we'll be doing some sacred well work as well. So I hope you'll join us there. Um, and then next week. Well, we be doing, we won't be doing Bridget stuff so much. Um, we've got the new moon circle uh, on the Thursday, the 11th. So just a little sprinkling of all kinds of things happening. And what I'd love to do, and you can consider this kind of a preview, we're actually gonna be doing this during our candle mass uh, slash Imolk uh, ritual tonight that Barbara and I are doing. I'm gonna teach you, I just learned this very beautiful, I hope I can get the, the tune right, um, uh, Bridget chant, Bridget song that you can sing to invoke her her healing and her inspiration. Um, if whether or not you're a poet, she is the the goddess of poetry as well. So let's see. Um, oh, and I also, if you look, let's see, if you look at my Facebook page, I included the link there to an article that I wrote last year, maybe about embracing <laughs> embracing um, the groundhog as your spiritual coach and that gives all this kind of background too so if you want the link to that let me know but that's the that's the story so this is the um this is the chant that we can sing for for bridget to invoke bridget into our lives for healing inspiration and creativity and i'll sing it through you can listen to it then i'll sing it a few more times and we'll sing it together <laughs> goddess of fire keeper of flame bless us as we call your name bridget bridget 
Goddess of light, goddess of power, illuminate the darkest hour, Bridget. Bridget, protect our home, protect our hearth, create within us sparks of art. Bridget, Bridget, goddess of fire, keeper of flame, bless us as we call your name. Bridget, Bridget, Goddess of light, goddess of power, illuminate the darkest hour, Bridget, Bridget. Protect our home, protect our hearth, create within us sparks of art, Bridget, Bridget. Hmm. Do you feel her spark of inspiration, of creativity, bubbling in, well, that wouldn't be bubbling, sparking <laughs> inside of you? Uh, it's kind of, it's a little bit longer than I usually do, so I'll, I'll post the words in, in the chat when I'm out of here, too. Uh, so, I hope you are, wherever you are, whether you're buried in snow, like I am happily right now, went cross-country skiing this morning in Riverside Park, Wherever you are, I hope that you are embracing the power of this most holy, magical, ancient day. Whether you're a groundhog person, whether you're a Mother Mary person, whether you are celebrating Imok or, and or the Feast of Bridget, just embrace the wisdom and the power that this day holds for all of us. Thanks so much for being with you, and we'll see you next week. Namaste.